I'm Wendy Skidmore, I'm the Acting Health Service Manager um, for six weeks. Um, my former role is the Deputy Nurse Manager. So the hospital um, has got 19 um, patient beds on the general ward and we've got six maternity beds. Um, we've got ED, we've got a physiotherapy. So I'm Megan and I work in the physio department and also with the chronic disease management program as well. So we run the cardiopulmonary rehab. Um, so I've worked here for nearly three years and um, we run different programs. We've, we've also got a falls prevention program that we run as well. Um, on Mondays and Thursdays we have our cardiopulmonary rehab and Tuesdays we have our falls prevention group. We can, um, if we're doing something with someone's back, they can straddle it and we can have full access to their back when they're sitting on it and they can rest their face in, in here. So we'd, be, we'd use one of these for if or the physio was putting on the interferential machine on someone's back, you have full access to that. My name's Samantha Anderson. I'm a community nurse. I work Mondays and Tuesdays. We have Katrina Bourne who works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we have Will O'Neill who works full time Monday to Friday. A lot of services, most that people need. We have um, the TRACS program. Um, so after they leave hospital, they can have a 12 week program to help rehabilitate them. I've worked in a bigger hospital and but it's nice here and I like the community nursing. Check to see if there's any cultural bottles in the incubator and check to see if there's any specimens in the fridge that have been left overnight from the night shift nurses. Grease the tourniquet, pull out the specimen, pop lightly, pull out and fast. It's all over. Good. The um, barcode, everything's barcoded with the patient's name and MRN medical record number and their date of birth and their test. <laughs> My name is Brittany. Yeah. I'm a student from CSU Aurora. What so CSU? Charles Sturt University, so they teach us how to do x-rays and so we go on placement so I chose to come to Tamora and they teach you the positions you need to get the patients in, the exposure that you need to give them and things like that to get diagnostic images to send to the doctors. I came to Tamora Hospital about three months ago um, when a job came up because my partner's a farmer down here, so I was living up in Tamworth. Yeah. So this is general x-ray. Yep. So um, it does just bulk standard basic bread and butter X imaging. And then if the doctors require further imaging or further investigation, they might send you for a CT or for an ultrasound or for an mm. MRI. Anyone, any doctors in the area with a computer and a login to that PAC system can log in. Um, so patients don't have to carry physical films with them. Oh, my name's Diana Edis. Um, I've been working here for how many years? Um, would be 16 years. So this unit is a maternity ward um, and we just deliver basically low risk women um, just from around the area, West Wyalong Area Park, um, even a bit towards Young and Quandiala, so we cover a fairly big area. Generally, the, if they're, they're born, they are put right up on the mother's chest straight after they're born. It's very rarely in use now, it's just if we have a baby that might need a bit of extra care. This, this is Chad, she's only born this morning. And um, yeah, the whole experience was very quick, but, <laughs> but lovely. Yeah. My name's Belinda Rees. I'm acting nurse manager at the moment. I'm filling in for Wendy, who's filling in for Maureen. We wear many hats. We can do anything from in charge to taking a patient load, to working in ED, to assisting the midwife, to um, we're not just sort of placed in one, one area. So our scope of practice is quite, quite large, um, which people enjoy in a small hospital. <laughs>